everyone! Did you know that Morocco and the United States have a long history of friendly relations? Yes, this North African nation was one of the first states to seek diplomatic relations with America. Now let me tell you a little about this story. In 1777, Sultan Mohammed bin Abdullah announced his desire for peace and friendship with the United States. So, he issued a declaration announcing that all ships sailing under the American flag could freely enter Moroccan ports. By issuing this declaration, Morocco became one of the first states to recognize publicly the independence of the American Republic. Around a year later, the Sultan of Morocco reissued his 1777 declaration. But American officials only later learned of the Sultan's full intentions. In 1779, the Sultan made contact with the new American government. His consul wrote a letter to Congress to announce the Sultan's desire to be at peace with the United States. The US government finally sent its first official communication to the Sultan of Morocco in December 1780 which recognized the Sultan's goodwill and demonstrated the U.S. mutual desire for peace and friendship with Morocco. Later, in the spring of 1784, the Congress acted and authorized its ministers in Paris, Franklin, Jay, and Adams, to conclude treaties of amity and commerce with several countries, including Morocco. However, the continued delays of action by American officials irritated the Sultan and caused him to take extreme action to gain their attention. And so, on October 11, 1784, the Moroccans captured the American merchant ship Betsy, and the Sultan announced that he would release it once a treaty with the United States was concluded. As a result, Preparation for negotiations with Morocco started in 1785. Fortunately, U.S. representatives and the Sultan of Morocco quickly reached agreement and signed the Treaty of Friendship and Amity, also called the Treaty of Marrakesh, and it was later approved by Congress in 1787. Shortly after the organization of the United States government under the new constitution, President George Washington wrote a letter of appreciation to his great and magnanimous friend, Sultan Sidi Muhammad. Dated December 1, 1789, the letter informed the Sultan that the United States had adopted a new constitution and apologized for the delay in communicating with Morocco. The negotiation of this treaty marked the beginning of diplomatic relations between the two countries and it was the first treaty between any Arab, Muslim, or African state and the United States. By 1797, the United States had established a consulate in Morocco, and in 1821, the new Moroccan Sultan gave the United States one of the most beautiful buildings in Tangier for its consular representative. This building served as the seat of the principal U.S. representative to Morocco until 1956 and is the oldest piece of property owned by the United States abroad as well as a National Historic Landmark. In 1943, during the French Protectorate of Morocco, President Roosevelt promised King Mohammed V that he would do all in his power to support Morocco's wish to gain independence of the French. So following World War II, and after more than a decade of struggle, Morocco became independent from France in 1956. In recognition of the sovereign and independent status of Morocco, the United States raised the level of its representation in Morocco from diplomatic agent to ambassador. Today, and after this long, rich and prosperous history of the American-Moroccan friendship, the two countries' strong relations continue to grow and flourish while they share and work on mutual interests such as economic prosperity, peace and justice, regional security and cooperation, and sustainable development and protection for the environment.